Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh. Fifth annual Man Trip 2021. It is 3.40 in Duluth right now. And I'm being a little quiet because we have the next generation of the Solberg lineage in the house behind me. So I'm trying to not wake her up. We are headed down Big Fork River in remote northern Minnesota. And uh, yeah, we're heading there right now to see who the Mantrip 2021 champion is and gets to decide next year's destination. So, let's go. All right, so Sam and I are stuck here at our entry point while Matt and Nick are going to the outfitter so that they can bring the truck and the trailer to our exit point. And then the outfitter is gonna shuttle Matt and Nick back to here so that we can go down from our entry point to our exit point and just be able to leave from that. So Sam and I are kind of stuck here for about an hour and a half, just kind of waiting for Matt and Nick to come back, so. Yeah. They're back. We're off. It's nice having a motor this time. Well, Matt just caught, what, a 28 inch musky? Yep. Yeah, about a 28, so. That was a snaker. Too shallow. We catch something tonight. Day one in the Big Fork River Man Trip 2020. Man Trip 2021. Thanks for the correction. Appreciate it. It's been a long day. Okay, you're already in bed. You can't talk. We've been up since three. <laughs> We've been up since three, so it's been a long day. Matt has the lead right now with a 30 inch muskie and is the only fish successful fisherman today because he's caught three muskies and none of us have caught any. Nick got two follows today and I didn't really, I mean I saw one in the water so they're in here but they're pretty, we're trying to get some better success tomorrow and we got some crayfish hopefully waiting for us in our homemade <laughs> crayfish traps. Kind of just jiggered them but anyway. We'll see you about tomorrow. We got one! There he is. <laughs> got the river lobster. Carry it all the way down there. I think on that one she Let's go! <laughs> oh, <dude. laughs> hey! Nice. Nice. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Press the cord. Dang it. He's over there now. First muskie of the day, or of the trip, really.
Time to portage. to the Big Fork River Man Trip 2021. I got it wrong last time. I'm finally on the board for the 29 inch muskie. Matt is the other one, only one that also caught a fish today. He also caught a, uh, a 29 and a half inch or 29 inch too. So. Um, Matt and Nick are still not. They're still skunked. I guess Sam technically caught some catfish, which is, or not catfish, crayfish, which He's technically claiming to be on the board, but whatever. <laughs> he says it counts, but I don't know, whatever. Hopefully more muskies tomorrow. Hopefully more fish that we can eat, something we can use for bait, so that we can then get more crayfish, so that we can get more river lobster and have great breakfast, so. Yeah. Anyway, see you tomorrow. So Nick found an anchor. We forgot one, so it'd be nice to have one. So <laughs> we found one on the bottom of this like bay right next to the falls. So Nick's trying to find it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Nick got a little bit more than an anchor. <laughs> The spoils. It is big, right? <laughs> Nick's on the board. Yeah. That's your intro right there. <laughs> Fish on a stick. <laughs> Alright, day three in the Big Fork River. Man trip 2021. Uh, Matt, or not? not Matt. Nick and Sam got rid of the skunko today, so congrats to them. We ate a lot of fish. Lots of fish on a stick and lots of fish too. So that was good today. Um, but Nick, unfortunately, lost a about a 45 inch northern. He had him hooked, or mu northern, musky, 45 inch musky, and had him hooked, but um, didn't have a leader, so lost it. So that was tough, but. Can only blame myself. <laughs> can only blame myself. Well, that's it for day three.
Mean little guy. No. <laughs> I trapped him. There we go. Yeah. Holy cow. Red horse. Look at all these. Almonds. One of each. <laughs> bartering begins. Yeah, we need 40 bucks. That's all the bartering I'm doing. <laughs> One handful of almonds. I'm done. I'm done. I got it. Day four in the Big Fork River. Man trip 2021. Not much to update today. Uh, no lead changes or anything. Um, fishing wasn't that great either. Sam caught his best, what, smallmouth? 19 inch smallmouth. So that was pretty good. But. Kind of going to bed early today so we can hopefully get some big ones tomorrow morning. See you tomorrow. Little guy climbing on my tent. <laughs> little wood frog. You can see the mask on its face. A little mask behind its face. Wood frog. You're free. I don't know if they're that smart. <laughs> 34 months. There. Nice. <laughs> That's a big here. Yeah, there you go. Well, Matt and Sam have sprung a small leak. So hopefully that cause doesn't cause more future problems. It jumped a solid like two feet into the air there. Yeah. Like literally over the motor. It was insane. Nice. Deeper water? Yeah. Wait, he's trying to go. There you go. You're gonna have to go around me, buddy. <laughs> okay. Good. It's trying to dam up the river. He might come right next to us. He left your branch. He's literally right into the boat. Don't provoke it. We're not, don't move very fast. I know. <gasps> and it is probably the best water I've ever tasted in my life. Day five, man trip 2021 in the Big Fork River. We have a lead change, and I am the new leader with a 34 inch muskie. Um, honestly, I hope it doesn't stay because we saw some monsters in the river uh, today. We saw probably like a 45, a couple 45 inchers, maybe even a 50 incher. So uh, there are some huge muskies here in the Big Fork River. Nick finally caught his first muskie today too. So that was big. That was huge. He's on the muskie board. So uh, we saw a beaver. Um, 
there was some other it was, it was a pretty sweet day today you saw in the, that 50 incher that i was talking about before it, it was in the shallows and just moved like a huge anaconda looking like it, it or nick said it looked like a dolphin <laughs> in the water so um, we're hoping to catch one of those tomorrow so yeah hoping honestly i hope i don't that 34 doesn't win it because um we need to catch some bigger fish Village pumping because we still have that leak. Oh my god. This is the entire last day so far. Day six summary and then uh, trip reflection. Uh, day six, we just kind of traveled a lot. We kind of, it was the day of suck. We uh, had to just travel through, what was it? What do we call it? Boulder. Boulder, Boulder Field. Yeah, it was Boulder Field. It was up there with, uh, with the convex and the death march on our rail. Matt saw a huge 50 inch muskie, so that was, that was. The highlight of the day, I guess, was Matt's, Matt seeing that huge muskie that looked ginormous. But the reflection, as always, per tradition, is the high and the low of the trip and two things you are looking forward to about regular life. And we go from oldest to youngest. So Matt goes first. High of the trip was catching four muskies in the first two days. And the low of the trip was not catching a muskie since then. <laughs> Um, I did have a 45 like up to the boat and got off and having the leak in the boat was also a very much so a low but uh, Otherwise it was overall pretty enjoyable. Congratulations to Johnny on his first first trip first uh, man trip victory of all time um, Looking forward to eating real food and seeing Sarah and baby Mary There you go. All right Sam's up uh, I'd say high of the trip was catching uh, my biggest personal record, smallmouth, that was pretty fun. Uh, no muskie, I suppose I would consider that one of the lows. Definitely the low was my shoes <laughs> not holding up and having to tape them and actually use rope to keep them together the last day while we were going through boulder fields. So that's up there with just about, any, I think, any of the man trips with uh, a low. <laughs> that was pretty tough. Uh, definitely couldn't go barefoot. I uh, tried that out. Uh, yesterday Rocks, a couple yeah. times and it's just not not gonna happen so made it though um, looking forward to some bar food tonight per usual <laughs> and one more thing two things two things oh life. two things looking forward to yeah. um, but uh, bar food and beer there you go <laughs> there's the two <laughs> all right Nick uh, my highest high was sight fishing musky that was pretty cool you could see him all the way down like five, seven feet. Uh, lowest low was the low, you know, river level. God. So <laughs> we had to go a lot of, lot of boulders and a lot of rocks we had to go through. Uh, I'm looking forward to uh, hanging out with Saskia in our house and I am looking forward to uh, good food. All right, well, Matt already kind of gave, gave away my high. I caught the first uh, man trip championship for myself. Caught a 34 inch muskie. Thanks to Nick for uh, netting and um, oh, yeah. sp spotting it too in the first place. I just was lucky enough to get the muskie to bite on my lure instead. So, um, so thanks then, huge shout out to Nick for that, for that assist. Um, because that getting the muskie in the net is pretty dang hard too. So um, 
the low was definitely the boulder fields today turned into a zombie trying to get through all of that just it just turned into like a like an autopilot trying to just walk the canoe through all of the, the boulders um, but yeah that uh, that's the high and the low uh, two things I'm looking forward to is seeing Jada again I gotta go and go see my dog I haven't seen her in a bit and um, also a hot shower here hopefully tomorrow because we got to camp here um, but yeah that is it for us man trip 2021 in the Big Fork River All right, so in Isle Royale, Nick got attacked by leeches and got attacked by leeches. <laughs> <laughs>